Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Munkler's local yarn store. I am Jen. Amanda. Kathleen. And we're the team behind Yarnia. This is a podcast all about knitting, crocheting, and stuff you can do with yarn and string and sometimes needle point and sometimes weaving and it all just depends on what we're working mm-hmm. on. Yep. Um, and if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome, welcome back. Yeah. And if you come into the store, let me know who you are. Yes. We had, we had a longtime podcast watcher who was here the other day, and Haley, she, she was shopped for a while, and I chatted with her a little bit, but I don't know, it was in the middle of something on the phone or whatever, and then after she left, I saw her name, and I'm like, I know who that is. You're like, I know yeah. who you are. So if you always comment and you come into the store, we probably recognize your name. Mm-hmm. Or at least I do, since I'm the one who answers the comments most yeah. of the time. Well, it's like so. knowing people by their screen names. That's exactly, the other thing. Exactly. Exactly. So, like... Kelly, it was very nice to meet you and your friend, Ooh. and definitely anybody else. If you stop in, I, we love to know that you're podcast watchers, but yeah, For especially sure. if you're a regular commenter, tell us who you are, because we yes. probably remember. <laughs> So we know you. We do. Uh-huh. We feel like we do. We feel like we, we feel do. like we do. So I mean, I feel like that's like a online thing, right? Yeah. Like, well, and also you know people some, online, but also some people are quieter. So if you really yes. don't want to, we understand yeah. that too. And maybe maybe that was the case. That's cool. But um, that is cool. But anyway, it is. We do love to meet people. Yeah. I mean, so. we're all like extroverts, so yeah, that can be a lot for <laughs> introverts. Sorry. Yeah. Apologies. And actually, I think at the I think at the time she came in, we had help going on. There was a private lesson going on. Uh, there were yeah. people coming for a class. It was kind of like I don't want to say pandemonium, but like Grand Central Station. A little, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Cool. So, so um, I don't know what episode this is. This is oh. episode. <laughs> it is again. Hidden. Like I look, I don't well, look. Whatever. My... If you were there, you might see it. That requires me paying attention <laughs> to it. Um, right. Yeah, a level of paying attention that I don't have currently. I yeah. want to say it's episode 105. Close. Very close. 106. Yes. Yay. You got it. Very oh, good. Look at that. Good, good. And actually, one it's like thing a game I of noticed, hot and cold. um, I, one thing I did, cause I, I have no finished objects today. Me either. And often lately I've been wearing a finished object. So I was like, Hmm, I need to wear something I've already worn. So what did I wear the last couple of podcasts? And actually, we had numbered two of them 104. Oh, oh did we? <laughs> Wait, so not, not is it still actually I, episode 106? I fixed it. I oh, fixed okay. it. So right. now, okay. yeah. But then it was the graphic, like the you know graphic that you put in the thing was right, but okay. just the numbers, the text. And oh, I didn't okay. notice it until today when I was like, what did I wear in this episode? Oh. So I could wear something I hadn't worn for a when while. you see it on screen, then you're like, I just thought that maybe there was a chance I got it right once. I got it right on the second guess. That's not yeah, bad. Second guess is That bad. is not bad. It's at all. It's improved. I actually I also looked this morning it today. to see, and I was like, am I wearing the same outfit that I was wearing last time? And I was like, is my hair exactly the same as it was <laughs> last time? And I'm like, I realized it was two weeks ago, but yet... I, summer so my hair's in braids and I wear this outfit pretty frequently. I, don't ever pay and attention I have to that. I have a winter yeah. uniform much more than I have a summer uniform. I feel like in the winter I probably have on jeans and a black turtleneck. Yeah. You know, and then whatever sweater, whatever cardigan I have sweater. Lululemon leggings and a knitted sweater. <laughs> yeah. With a t- under over a tank top from the gap. <laughs> there you go. That's what I wear. The uniform. Linen dress and sweater, yo. <laughs> Or jeans. Oh, so maybe that could be our question. What's your uniform? Do yes, you your uni- uniform. What is your it. uniform? Is it seasonal? Yes. Tell us. I want to know. Mm-hmm. Do you read Cup of Joe? Yes. Right? Have you the what's your uniform? What's your uniform? Posts? And like no. what's your what's your beauty uniform? Yes. Love. Me too. I do not. Tell tell us. Oh, more. so Cup of Joe is a, a blog by Joe Goddard? Yes. Um, Joanna. Joanna Goddard. And then she has um, a number of contributors as well. But one of their, like, long-running things. Just her. Right? Me too. Like, before Years she was ago. married. Right. We've gone through a whole cycle. We've got, yes, we've gone through married, two children, divorce. Yeah. Um, which is amazing to, like, whatever life stage you're in, there are well-written blog posts. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On Look at everything. Up. She's actually where... Um, uh, uh, what uh, Magnolia um, Chip and Joanna Gaines started? Seriously? Oh, really? So she did a like home tour thing with Chip and Joanna Gaines. Oh, wow! Uh, years and ago, and that 
kind of like I mean they had like Magnolia and whatever and like her design stuff um going on but that's how they launched into like media wow properties. one of my friends was maybe is that design mom one of my features friends was featured on her site um as like talking about life insurance oh wow well. ah yes. interesting it, she was already an actuary so did not launch a career but She's very cool. That's so really I'll cool. I'll link both. Yeah, for sure. The whole blog to, and my friend's post. That on actually may have might have been Design Mom. I linked the, I linked Design mm -hmm. Mom and Cup mm -hmm. of Joe together because they're very, like I don't know Design Mom. Oh, you don't know Design Mom? No. Oh, you should look at Design Mom. <laughs> she's a lot, but like she's really interesting. She is actually like Mormon, but very very liberal. Interesting. Very lefty. She's Gabrielle Blair. Gabrielle Blair. Mm -hmm. um, but they're both they're both from the the like uh, blog blogosphere of the mm -hmm. early two thousands. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. so well, like of, January one, right? Yeah, like her, yes. like her. Um, but yeah, so Cup of Joe has like a what's your beauty uniform and it's like what do you like Mm -hmm. Your skin, your hair, like your skincare, like do you wear makeup? Like what's your makeup? It's really, yep. really mm -hmm. fascinating. I always think about what I, I, I always think about what I would say if I was profiled on this. Ooh, like what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. well, that's uh, fun. But yeah, check out, check out Cup of Joe, and you should check, you should definitely check out Design Mom. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. My, Very if cool. I was, if I was on there, my beauty, like thing would be unseen sunscreen. Oh. The best, right? I seen sunscreen. Put it on under your on, or by itself. Super goop, like yes, mm -hmm. it's so good. It feels like like it melts into your skin, so it never feels greasy. Yeah, um, but you can wear SPF forty every day. And I swear, I've been wearing sunscreen every day since I was like twenty three. Smart and sunglasses, and I swear mm -hmm. that's why, like, I'm. She looks young, kids. <laughs> that <laughs> she looks young. I also it makes a difference. I think huge fan of sunscreen. I like the Super Goop Unseen. Big fan of Japanese and Korean sunscreens. Mm -hmm. I have a yep. whole litany of them. They are the best. Love them. But highly recommend any mid twenties who are watching it. Do it now. Wear sunscreen now and sunglasses. Yeah. Like it's a religion. So mm -hmm. that way, when you're our age, mm -hmm. you don't have to go to the dermatologist and get your face lasered off. Yeah. yeah right. Which I'm due for that again. Mm. Um, I, I feel like I'm not actually out in the sun long enough to worry about it, but that's probably not really true. That, that, that like, you just get UV exposure. And you yeah. can also look, like, you look at, like, your driving arm versus your non-driving mm -hmm. arm. Like, the arm, like, if you drive a lot, you can see the difference in sun exposure. And you can see on my arm, I mean, ignore that scar there. But, like... I, I have, have so many arms. Look, I have passenger arms. You have arm. passenger arms. Oh my See? <laughs> I really do. My right arm's a little darker. I always drive, and my left arm is like covered drive. in freckles and moles and sunspots and things like mm -hmm. that. Just covered in freckles anyway. I don't tan ever. My freckles just merge. Your yeah. Freckles. That's how it is. I, I burn. tanned a few summers or I try as a not child, to, but, but I tan. Not. Haley tans. Haley got luckily those Winstead jeans. Hmm. She she tan she got really tan in France. Oh my goodness, I spent a lot of time. Tanning is summer. bad. It I is. Bad. It is. She does wear her sunscreen. She does, but she tans even with sunscreen. Yeah, so do I. I just yeah. And if I as a child, I never wore sunscreen, and I was just mm -hmm. very tan. Mm -hmm. So it's coming for me. Well, growing up in Brooklyn, all of my mostly Italian friends would do. Um, Johnson and Johnson baby oil with iodine in it. Oh, oh my goodness! So, just... Like they gave themselves a little bit of color, but like literally they would, yeah. And sizzle. And I'm, I oh. think I don't know of anyone who's had serious issues. I mean, there probably are some, but um, yeah, I, I could never do that. I would, I would have been like a little lobster if I had done that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that was not my thing. I could have done. I that did. Did I'm big looking at a little hat. red crab over here. Yeah, There's a little red crab in the window. Whoops. Um, we should check out. Let's see. I don't have any finished objects. You don't have any finished objects. No, just what I'm wearing. Just what you're wearing. Do you want to say what you're so wearing? So I can say what I'm wearing, sure. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just at that point in the pattern where I think I know what I'm doing, but I probably don't. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. maybe Amanda should go with her finished objects first. 
That's a good idea. Let's do that. <laughs> that way you can. Yeah, I've I've done enough rows on this that I have that you know false sense of confidence. Yeah, or what should you. be a false sense uh, of confidence. Do you have your pattern here? Um, I have my rewrite of the pattern. Oh, oh nice. nice. I, I did that last night because it was one of those. A paragraph that has all the raglan in raglan increases is not my friend. Oh, yeah. no. I like to bulleted points, like man. To, bulleted yeah. points. Just yeah, and I. So yeah, so go ahead, Amanda. Okay. Why don't you talk about your first project? But my so I participated in Nitty Natty Sock Week. Yay! Yeah. Yay! It was so fun. Um, I actually missed a lot of the live events when they were live, but then they were all they're all available to like, and I like subscribed to be a participant and mm -hmm. there was like a package. A, I bought a package, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which but she had like seven live events. There were, wow. a, lot. There were a lot. That's for, a lot yeah. for a short duration thing, right? It's, yes. Yeah. yeah there, well there the was a few bonuses, like there was a mm -hmm. bonus movie night and right. Yeah. Right. I just watched her podcast probably yesterday, I think so. Yeah. What was the movie yeah. night? It's, I don't know because I missed it. You weren't able to do it. Yeah. But that's okay. Um it was still and there was a Discord, so there was a lot of community on the Discord and every day we were posting pictures of our in progress socks. Nice. Like, that. like and so my goal for the week was to finish one. Okay. Um which I did. Yay. <gasps> Ready. Nice. I finished one. So cool. my um my plan for sock week, which I don't know if you remember, these are Helen Stewart's feather vein socks. This is sock number two and her handmade sock society for this year. Um, and I'll bring it up to the camera. And mine is knit in Jadipra Lana Mia Uni, which is a solid color yarn. So it really shows off the lace details. Yeah, so you can for lace and like yeah, stitches or cables. And like yeah, like yeah. anything like that. You can really see all the detail work. Which is nice, right? Like it's sometimes it's a pain to like do all that work, and then you're like, "Wow, well, my what?" You can sort of see irritated. it, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so that's why I chose a solid color for these socks, and I had started like I had gotten maybe, um, actually I had I had just started it. Um, we first got the Lana Mia Uni, mm -hmm. that's and right. then I took right it away. Yeah. as my secondary project when we went to Charleston, and I got through the heel turn, maybe, and even the gusset decreases. But then um, Nitty Natty Sock Week started, and I was like, you know what? And part of the rules were to submit a sock for prizes. You had to start and finish the sock in a week. Mm -hmm. So obviously I hadn't started that one. So I cut the yarn and cast on another sock. Yay. At midnight on Sunday, <laughs> on, I did get, participate in that one in like her live cast on party at midnight, um, and then I continued working on it and her YouTube um, cast on party at noon on Sunday the next day, which we um, broadcast here at Yarnia, um, and just continued working on it all week. And you know what? I finished it on Friday morning. Oh my Yay. goodness! Great. Yeah. So. Very nice. So I Speedy. picked up. The other sock that I was done with the Gila Gusset. Yay! Woohoo! I love that. And then I finished it. It's so nice when you're part of the group Sunday and it morning. can give you motivation. So you did. Love it. A sock and a half. A sock and a half. And yeah. so I was like, well, it's still sock week. So I picked up oh my goodness. another sock that's I been a languishing know. whip wow. since last November and mm. got through the heel turn. And so mm. on Sunday afternoon, so yeah. Now this is my easy travel project because, well, now I finished the heel decreases um, or the uh, gusset decreases and it's just like run around on the foot. Nice. So yeah, my finished object is uh, my feather vein socks by Helen Stewart. Hair. Yeah. Hair. Yeah. Hair of socks. socks. And I have on here my little um, Nitty Natty uh, partnered with um, Simply Serving mm. for her stitch like a, a stitch marker just for um, just for her sock week. So I have I've got that, and I also have the I little loved the little embroidered ones too. I thought they were bag. so sweet. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any of those. I I got this one, and I got yeah. The you you got some merch. Bag. You participated there. You yeah, did. I did. I was like I was yeah. sort of the last minute um, like participant. I mm -hmm. think I subscribed to or like got the package when there was like six hours left to get the package. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. Getting yeah. it in under That's the bad. wire. Totally. Yes. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun and it was definitely productive. It got me back into socking. So mm -hmm. I finished these and this was the first sock of that pair that I finished last November. And then it literally has been sitting around since November. And now I'm definitely going to finish it because cool. this is my travel along project now. Oh like. yeah. This one is knit in the, um, what is it? Uh, lend, it's right sitting lend, right there. Lend Norn? Yes, paint sock, mm -hmm. um, which is a stripy sock yarn. We have one color left right now. I need to reorder that. Um, I thought that was the one they discontinued. Did they? This can just, oh. oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I actually, yeah, when I looked on their web or on the KFI website, yeah. and there was something that we were, had been informed was discontinued that definitely still seemed to be available. Well, yeah, what we are those say. two? It may, it may have changed. It may have been that Never it was about know. to be discontinued. I really like so. the stripies. If you also I like the stripies too. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, um, I know what it was. I know what it was. Our best selling color was discontinued. That's oh, what it was. Like that. The one that everyone seemed to love. Yeah. Why do they always get rid of the color that everyone loves? I don't know. Some people just, just have a really mean sense of humor or something. Right. I don't know. Uh, but, but I like yeah. that color one too. Yeah. I, yeah. And they probably added some new ones. Usually, usually that's what happens when they get rid of one. Yeah. They add Chad one picked or this one more. out. Oh, I found. So I cast this on in November. I didn't do my research or think very hard when I cast it on in November. By the way, if you're knitting with these paint sock yarns, um, there's a white stripe in the middle that tells you where you're supposed to start, you start your second sock. Oh. <laughs> right, right. Uh-oh. Did you hit it in the middle of this <laughs> sock? <laughs> so, there's a, a lavender. Stripe. There's a lavender stripe in the middle of a sock. Um, oh. Whatever. So, it's now a feature. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. It's, I mean, it's whatever. It's another stripe. Like It's fine. And they're not matchy stripes so yeah it's fine yeah i don't care they're siblings not twins yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if i had known that i probably knew it at one point like i probably read the information about the yarn and knew that at one point but then i forgot mm -hmm. yeah if you have one of these in your stash or if you get one of the couple we have left by the way there's a white stripe in the middle <laughs> keep, keep your eye <laughs> they are meant for two socks they are meant for two socks matching oh. socks yeah oh yeah. well but yay, so that's my sock progress this week and my good cool. objects. Good. Oh, and also, what are you wearing? Oh, what am I wearing? Um, that was a good question. What's this called? Uh, that was the 12 Days of Tosh, It right? was 12 From Days of Tosh. Year. From, nah, two years ago. Two years ago, wow. Yeah. Um, the reason I wore this is because we're in the middle of Christmas in July. Our oh, sale right yes. now where all of our Christmas things, stockings and little kits. kits and things like that, yeah. are all um, 25% off. Um, in store and online. Um, so we'll link that down below, like the little Christmas in July stuff. But I was thinking it's Christmas in July. I'll wear my there yes. You go. Nice. <laughs> I'll wear my Christmas shawl. July is the perfect time to start that Christmas stocking. Oh, I know. If you're mm -hmm. on Christmas stocking duty, don't wait until November. It's remotely December. chilly. <laughs> Do it now. Yeah. Um, it, you will be so grateful and not have to sit there and like. It becomes like, like a, a chore. Yeah, person. You know what? You want it December. to be a joyful thing, not a yes. not a chore. Yeah, thing. but definitely. Yeah. And we have a bunch. We have a bunch of those guys. We do. Right? We I do. Pictures There's of them. A bunch them. of different. So now they're actually on our website, which they were not. I know. Yeah. I didn't realize. That. Thank you to the to the uh, Instagram follower who who let us know that we didn't have pictures of all of them up there. Yeah, I, it's good I missed that. that as well. I did. I didn't. Uh, now we have pictures of them check. all up. I took yeah. them on Saturday morning or Sunday morning. I forget. Mm -hmm. But anyway. As I was looking, well, I had said in my head, like, a year or two ago, like, oh, I will never make stockings for all my kids because there's a lot of them, and I, mm -hmm. I can't do that in, like, one year, so mm -hmm. whatever. But maybe I'll do it for my grandkids. But now, oh, I'm like, oh, you. that's like now. <laughs> that's, like, that's like now. Yeah, but fortunately, this baby's due after Christmas. I was so going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a whole year. You got another whole yes. year. But I was like, oh, these are some cute ones. And there's room up at the top to put their put name. Put their name. Their yep. name. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. They're, they're stranded. Really there's an Yeah. They're really they're cute. Very so, cute options. I'm, I might do that next Christmas in July mm -hmm. for Sock Week. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, that would be, that would be uh, a lot. That would be a lot for Zach. Week, that's a big sure. suck to worst it. Yeah, but especially if you do the, well, the intarsia definitely Oof. is, yeah, it just oh, takes a little while. I mean, ha that's having done a bunch of them, they're, they're fun, they're just but I, I like, I like doing them over time. I like mixing yeah, up with yeah. other projects. Yeah. Because we'll you can get a chunk done and get a chunk done. Yeah. That would be funny to do a stocking during sock week. 
<laughs> I know you'd be like, oh, it would, it would. Yeah. Um, and Kathleen, what are you wearing? So I am wearing uh, what I call my Renunculus Remix. So nice. um, it is, I have made a couple of Renunculuses and I was like, I love it, but I don't want to do it exactly the same way in this yarn. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Juniper Moon Nev, which we do still have a little bit of. Um, it's the same one I used for my um, orange pyramid top that I wore last week or last episode. Um, and I just played with the lace a little bit. I basically took out the sort of flower section in the middle mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, did most of the rest of the ranunculus pattern. So, and this is such a comfortable yarn. I love this. This is a great yeah. thing for it's a a, good cotton. a sweaty, humid summer day. <laughs> yeah. It really is. And today it's pouring rain. Well, so it was. Now it was. Like, oh, now it's not. Sprinkly. Of course. No. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. just pouring when we were coming in. So if you're right. like, wow, their hair looks worse than usual. Yeah. <laughs> I like, almost got my hair cut this morning, too. Oh Could you goodness. imagine? I just, oh like, bailed gosh. at the last minute. But Kathleen yeah. had an umbrella. She's smart. Yeah, really I could I not didn't. have gotten to my car without the umbrella. We didn't have an umbrella. Jen had her hair braided. That's that was true. smart. Yeah. That, yeah. Mine was just down and wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just wet. It's probably oh, well. going to grow as the episode goes on. As it dries, it just slips up a little bit. Mm. It's uh, definitely humid. So, um... If we want to jump into um, works in progress, I have a nitty natty related thing as oh, well. Oh, yeah, go if straight wanna, into it. You want to go it. with it? Oh, and, but you know what? Oh, Actually, first, finished off totally that. Forgot. I have a previous job, Jen. So, it's Haley, Haley is not here with us again today because she is apartment hunting up at college. Good luck, Haley. <laughs> yeah. She arrived right as we started recording. In fact, are they still texting me? They are not. Um, <laughs> so, um, but one thing she did when she was here last week was she tested out some yarn for us, which Amanda has now ordered from King Cole. Yep. It is a chenille yarn, which we've definitely had a bunch of people request, and we hadn't really seen it through any of our vendors. And then as we were flipping through the King Cole catalog, we came across it. And also they sometimes send us samples, and I found it in our sample bag oh, yay. that Excellent. we got for them. So. We checked it out. She made this dumpling kitty, which is so yeah. cute. And I'll bring it up so you, you can see the silver. Absolutely want to. Yeah. You absolutely want to pet it. It is so soft. Well, you can't pet it, but I'll show it to you. Closer. Well, yes. if you come in the store, you can pet it. Or if you <laughs> um, you can see that texture. And oh, yeah, so we, soft. I know we've mentioned the dumpling kitty before. I don't. She had the pattern in here in this bag, but um, not the first page with the designer's name. But I know we've, I'll we've put referred the designer to it. Across it's um. Over. Yeah, and it's it's in our uh, in-store projects. So this was King Cole Yummy Fine, and there's still a lot left. Hmm. But you we got a whole little family. We got players. the Yummy Chunky, which is going to be even better. And also, she's going to double this and make another a bigger one. So oh. that'll be the baby, and she'll oh. make the mama. We got the Yummy. Mm -hmm. Right, the yummy, the yummy yes. regular, which yes, is regular. which is a bulky, basically. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Which is really nice because also, I mean, like you guys know, and we've said this before, we don't carry anything that we don't love, and so like we do want to test out new things. Mm -hmm. um, and like chenille can be tricky. Yeah, right? yeah. And this is a really nice chenille. It it's is. Not, like this is really nice. Like there's some chenilles where I'm like. Wah, wah. Oh, um, and we're getting patterns with it, too. Oh, so yes. Fantastic. Yes. We'll have patterns from King Cole. Of course, I mean, you can always make whatever you, you can want make whatever with it. You can make whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, but they have pattern support for, like, little animals. Um, mm -hmm. Cuties. Yeah, as well as a lot of some baby Some items. accessories yeah, and baby yeah, items, yeah. yeah. Baby blanket, mm -hmm. that would be really Oh, they have one for a baby like snuggly, like where yes, you yes, like I saw you got that one. Like you button, like it a little, uh, like a bunting oh, kind yeah, of. Yeah, bunting. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this would be perfect for like a levy too. Yes, it was like, absolutely. Like, yeah, that kind of like kind of the square. Yeah, kind you of always want like a little. Had a, he there has a he has a teddy bear made out of cash merino sport Aww. that he has been carrying around everywhere. Mm -hmm. everywhere. Oh my goodness, that's his toy right now. And a little knitted teddy bear. Little oh, teddy for teddy. Yes. Aww. I Maybe I'll, I'll see if I can take a picture of him with it. That'd be cute if you can pry it away from him. No, just with him. <laughs> just be like, yeah, hey, picture hold of him your bear. Him. Hold your yeah. bear up. Hold your bear for the people. Show, show, every, <laughs> show everyone how cute And he says us. the whole word. He's like, where is my teddy bear? Aww. Aww. He's a cutie. He's a so good mess. Um, but yeah, you should hop to the Nitty Nitty Whip. Yes. In progress. So, my in progress. And I'll put this one away. Maybe we'll come back to that later. But, um... And actually, Natalie hasn't talked about it too much lately, but she 
has been working on the Battenberg blanket for a while. Yeah. yeah. And um, with all of their things going on, you know, moving out of their New York apartment and everything, I think she's put it aside for right now. But she's waiting on the yarn. Oh, and it did come. The, it did come. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> See, we watch other ones too. But, um, oh yeah, I've I went been... to New York and back yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I have I watched watch all the podcasts on the train. <laughs> uh, um, so I had had the Battenberg uh, blanket in my you know in my favorites for a long time. I loved it when I saw it, and you know always wanted to make it. And then when I saw Natalie start hers, I was like, all right. You've got to do it. You really, it's yeah. I she just started under the log. <laughs> she started exactly the unintentional or crochet, crochet along. Yeah. Um, so um, I basically I think I showed one square last time. Right? Did I have the whole square or did I have? You have I might have, have, have had the. You had a whole assembled. You had. I did have one. Yeah. Thing going on. Polygon. Polygon. Yeah. Yes. It, exactly. So that was how oh. I started it, and um, do well in geometry. <laughs> You are basically this is the pattern is written so that you join as you go, okay. which which makes sense because you don't want to, um, you know, having a million ends for, for anything is not really fun. And when you join as you go, you have one of your um, neutral squares. I mine is Tosh sock and paper. This is like seventy five percent. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> do you some water. Uh, see, this is what happens when you don't get a drink. Actually, uh -huh. I think my first time. Right. Yes. Go ahead. She doesn't have cooties. Oh, okay. No cooties. No cooties. <laughs> um, Thank you. No problem. So, You're joking. Yeah, we don't need to be joking. Um, so basically, um, I did, I kind of tested out some colors and how I liked them with this uh, neutral Tosh Sock paper. And I did, I had, yeah, it was a little, it was kind of like six of the colors and two of the neutrals. Mm -hmm. um, from that, I added on a little bit more and I made it into a square. Oh, and then I realized if I do this, it can kind of be the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. I can have it stay really portable and also mostly do join as you go. Yeah. So um, I have, so this, this is 16 squares. It's eight of the colors and eight of the neutrals. Mm -hmm. And um, it is almost a foot by a foot. It's about 11 and a half inches each way. Nice. So handy. So handy. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of decided that, you know, this is perfect. I, there are certain colors I have a lot of. Uh, and actually, it's really funny. Oh, no, this does have it. So I have Tosh Sock and Citrus. I've had a lot of that in my stash. I love it. I want that to be everywhere in the blanket. Um, I have Tosh Sock and Gilded, which is a color I'm pretty sure they don't dye anymore. Yeah. Though we could ask them. It is so beautiful. Um, I want that in every one. And I have about, I don't know, 16 of these squares also. This multi that I have a lot of. Um, so it was much easier to kind of play around with these and to have one done. And then actually what I did was I put another set of um, completed, and actually I'll show you, I have, I've, I've changed my method of storing these now because I have oh. so many. So look, whoops, Oop. we'll get that later. It's fine. Yep. Um, they're on the little rings we use for needles in the oh, store. Nice. <laughs> little binder rings. Which we have a ton of. Um, so I've got this light blue. I've got, you know, but the way it is now, I can actually grab one color. Yeah. Where yeah. when they were on these, which, you know, when I was first making them, take them you on. had to take everything off take to get on. to anything. So now they're, they're still kind of contained, but they're in their little groups. I have 101 squares done. Oh, 101 whoa. squares. Which I've just been like making them and making them and not keeping track. Yeah. But when I started really plotting it out and yeah. seeing how big I wanted it, I'm like, I kind of should know how many I've got at this point to have an idea about how many more I want to do. Yeah. Um, so I spent a good hour last night kind of going through all of that, you know, seeing how much more yarn I had. They take about 2.8 grams each. Okay. Yeah, that's so. You're a little bit loose than other. Uh huh. Nitty Natty was saying she's between 2.4 and 2.6. And do you know what? Ooh. She does an extra round. Oh. But, but wow. hers, yeah, hers are bigger too. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah. However, <laughs> however, it's all, and, and it's a different base. So yeah, maybe, true. maybe it's like a loftier base and my, mine are all a little bit different, but, um, or, you know, like I said, two, uh, probably 75% of them are probably top sock, but we have a few other things thrown in there that are the same weight. I yeah. love that purpley. Of course. I love this. I know. Like, that, like, that, like, that is a wonderland that I got at TNNA. Yeah. Remember when we went to the first TNNA that, yes. that was in our goodie bags? I still had it somewhere oh, and I came across nice. it and thought it. that it worked with that. And I actually, I do, I do know where all of these came from, which is really oh, kind of fun, fun. Whether, you know, it's like a little story blanket. Yeah. So, um, as I, you know, was doing this, I've got all these guys ready. I know how much more I, I can make over 200 squares with the colored yarn I have. And I did just buy another, um, you know, paper the other day for my yeah. background. Um, 
I started looking at them like three feet across is not going to be enough. No. Do you want to hold, you want to hold one of these? And we'll, we'll kind of see what they would be like going across. So if you kind of do them like this, that, that would be the width of it. So yeah, that that's is, that's not enough. It's not, it's not enough. So I'm going to be doing, um, at least four across. Yeah. yeah. So four by five is 20 squares of 16 each, which is 320 squares, okay. which is 160 each of solids and multis or solids You're and colors. well on your way. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've got a lot done, but also I really want, I want it to be colorful and still cohesive. Yes. So, so again, having the fact that this is not all from like, you know, a set of advents or, you know, a few right. specific yarns that were dyed to go together. I think this kind of doing these blocks is, it's making me so happy because yeah. it, um, you know, I, it's going to enable me like maybe, maybe the one that's tagged two on here. Oh, and that was the other thing I did. I've been, um, these all have little tags on them. It tells you what block number they are currently. I made a little map. Smart. Oh my goodness. The preparation though is what I think makes it well, like once you get so much easier to 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 finagle, it. like to do to it do and not redo and... it. Actually, I don't know if you yeah. want to kind of show that, Amanda, but I kind of plotted out what, oh, and I also I did the colors in the corners so I know which way it was supposed to be oriented. So you're not so. accidentally putting number one upside down. Oh, there you go. Or there's yes. Now you'll yeah. be able to see to it. see it. So yeah. I also like the idea of making it in the blocks because then if you're like, okay, each block is going to have one of the citrus and, and one of this and one of this and mm -hmm. one of this, and then, then the you rest know that around. they're evenly scattered and exactly. you're not accidentally like, oh wait, here's a cluster of orange in the lower corner mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. in the middle or whatever. Yeah. Then, then you know that you've got like mm -hmm. even distribution. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because when I thought I was going to do three squares across by five down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mailed it to myself. <laughs> cool. Yes, um... And there's, yeah, this was one of my initial calculations before I'd started doing all of my weighing and everything last night. But, um, it, you know, it, it keeps it portable also. It makes mm -hmm. it so that you can really distribute it. Originally I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll add like two more columns or something at the end. But I can see now that I've got three, you know, yep. definitely I want it to be wider. Yeah. Um, so we'll see it. And maybe it even gets wider, bigger than that too, but it's, yeah. it's at least going to be the 320 squares. You have so. options then. And also if you wanted to do a border or not a border. Oh yeah. I'm definitely doing a border. Yeah. There's a okay. border in the blanket, um, that I like a lot. Um, that was, that was the other thing that, that put me over the edge with it. I had seen, you know, Natalie's project and in her story and everything when she was working on it, then it started popping up in my Instagram feed, other people who'd made it. And there was someone who had beautiful pictures and was taking all pictures of her border. And I'm like, Hmm, I don't know if that's the border that is in the blanket, but that's the one I'm going to do. And of course it is the one in the blanket, okay, but it, it's a really well matched kind of thing. Um, yeah. Nice. So, so it's, I am just loving this so much and I'm, this is really what I've mainly been spending time on, but also because of the way I'm doing it, it can be so portable. I really like, this is what I carry around with me, yeah. you know, and I've got my, Right now I've got this in here too. I've got the full cake of natural, but I've got a bunch of, um, I didn't bring that, but you know, I've got balls weighed and I know how many I can make of the others and then I'll put them with their little groups. And then when I have, when I feel like it, I'll set out a bunch of, you know, I'll kind of plan out my next square and then, and those, you know, the joining I did in an evening. So I made eight squares and joined, um, it was like two nights ago. I did the third one. That's nice. great. Yeah. I'm definitely That's getting great. faster as I'm going on it too. Yeah probably looser though too, which is not great, but <laughs> I'm, well, that's I'm not another, actually, that's not a bad reason to join as you go, like d to do it in the blocks too, yeah, because yeah. you can like, well, this is, is a particularly really big loose one yeah, I to like encase them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's awesome. So it's great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really loving it. I'm having so much fun with it. I love it. Do you have any other works in front of us? I do. I do. Ooh. So let me see what else. Well, um, and you will have this as well, but I am doing Jen's Moethia class or sweater class. And I, I got this to a good point. I am going to bring this with me on, when I go on vacation next week. Oh, nice. Um, oh, nice. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, I got, I, like, when I was really into this, I, I did a lot. I yeah, you got, did. like, I think my lace is four inches, and then I've done one, two, three, three and a half more inches. So I want it to be about, um, I think, 14 up to the underarm. Nice. So, yeah, I've, I've made good progress. Um, that's where I was in the last class. That's I put really that on good. as, yeah. Wow. So I did another couple inches from there and I'm doing Amanda's sleeve trick <laughs> with instead of for this, so instead of marking the, um, the decreases or increases, I'm marking every inch. So I don't have to, I just, I love any of those little things that kind of give me the impetus Keeps to keep moving. going, you know, 
and I've got like as many as I want. Um, uh, when I'm out of these, I'll know that I've done the length that I'm planning on doing. Yeah, and smart. I probably will put it on pearl strings and try it on before then. Yeah. But just in case I don't, if I really keep going. Um, well, and also just um, because it's that's summer solstice, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a plant based fiber as it gets longer. It it's get heavier, heavier so it's going to grow. So yeah. your 14 inches might actually mm -hmm. be like, in order to hit 14 inches, you may actually need to hit 13. True, true. Right? Because yep. it might grow a little bit. Yeah. But like, mm -hmm. that's actually the handy thing about the bottom up is that in this case, you'll be able to tell a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I think I'm getting like six rows to the inch. So, Perfect. Um, yeah, so it's like, I, I just, I do six rows that I throw on the marker and I, I will measure and like adjust later if I need to. But yeah now and the other little thing I did with this because it is even though I'm doing it above gauge it's still a lot of stitches I've got like four sets of stitch markers around it mm -hmm. so that <laughs> I, I need so much positive reinforcement don't yeah. I, I like give myself all these opportunities to say but we show it keep going you can do it you're <laughs> almost at the marker yep yep so um yeah so halfway um the other thing actually that's kind of funny I happen to use a set that I had from Katrinkles that are it is a sweater set of markers, so oh. it says, you know, front, back, beginning, around, all of that. So I know, actually, when I hit this point, if I've been a little sloppy, I need to neaten up because right. I'm about to start on the front. Tidy it up, kids. <laughs> so anyhow, and then, yep, when I hit that one, I'm about to start on the back. Nice. So that is my, that, well, we have another, still another week break before we, right? Yes. Because you're I'm getting my dog this, well, I'm picking a dog. You're picking your dog. I'm not okay. getting the dog. Okay, okay, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. The dog is coming in September. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um, yes. So, do you have more? Um, do I do. More? I have one more. You should talk about Waitha while she's talking about Waitha. Okay. okay. It's yeah. my only. Go, go over to that. It's yeah. my only whip um, because I'm doing it in fingering weight, airy silk, which means that, It's really know, tiny stitches. Her six <laughs> rows an inch is like my ten rows an inch. Oh, this reminds like me. That. Where's your Dom de Fer? <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. Sitting there. Like I got the yoke on the dumb de fair done and now it's all stacking up back and forth and I'm like, I'm bored. That's from a long time ago. I'm oh. bored. Yeah. Um, so this is my white Etha, which is the Airy Silk from Muse Art. Muse Art, thank you. Uh, which is a hand dyed, um, hand spun natural dye. So there's got a little bit of variation. So I'm using two and skeins. Airy silk, which does not kill the little caterpillars. Right. They get yes. to, they they fly get to away. hatch and live their best moth life. And yeah. go off and do so vegan what silk. they have. Yeah. yeah, that's what we mean when we say vegan silk. No vegan silk. No we're taking, we're taking no waste worms harms. were harmed in the making of this yarn. No, but it was... Well, they were fed and cared. They were fed. And that's true. <laughs> they were pampered. <laughs> Not boiled alive, which, you know, I'm... I'm whatever. Um, so, yeah, so this is as... This is how far I've gotten. This is the best... Probably the best way to, to do it. And I keep, I keep yanking on it a little bit because I know that mine is going to stretch out a little bit. Uh-huh. Um, or not stretch out, but like kind of... Lengthen. The yeah. lengthen mm -hmm. a bit. And also I'm like, how much longer do I need to go before the divide? But yeah. I need to... My goal is to get to the divide by next week. Um, I have a full week um, mm -hmm. before the class. We had two weeks off, so we basically everyone could work on the body of this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, and then we'll Which divide. Which will be great. It'll be great because I, I do think a lot of people will be like ready for the next step. Then. I think so. I hope yeah. so. And if not, they can always catch up. That's fine. Yep. They can watch the recordings. It's fine. People yeah. can do it on their own mm -hmm. time. But I really like working with the, the silk. Sometimes silk is, um, and cotton too, and linen, like it can be really hard on your hands. I feel like this is pretty comfortable to work with. Mm -hmm. Um, it is very fine. It is very fine. Yeah. yeah. So I'm on size three. That's why my ball, I'm knitting it double when I get to the project. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, like, weight-wise, oh, it's, it's gorgeous. lovely. Yeah, yes. it's so nice. It's, it's going to make them nice. Absolutely fabric. lovely. Bloody summer so, time. So, yeah. So, bottom-up top. Um, I have not yet decided how long I'm going to make it. I'm going to actually weigh my yarn to see because I just have the two skeins, mm -hmm. um, which will be enough to do cropped for sure, and I'll figure it out from there. Yeah, even if that's your first skein? No, I have two going uh -huh. at the Oh, that's time. right. You're, yeah, you're coming. Yeah, so I'm doing heel yeah, yeah. knitting. Mm-hmm. Because that way, I don't have to stop and, like, alternate the skeins. So there's no hard line of demarcation, especially mm -hmm. with a natural dye. Um, yeah. And, yeah, so this is really what I've been focusing on pretty much exclusively. 
nice because I gotta get cracking um <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go to Pennsylvania this weekend and pick out our labradoodle I know which one I like but have to meet oh you've seen person. pictures already Oh, we have a shared album oh my from goodness. the people who are caring for the puppies. Um, How many and they were just, in the litter? There were four in the litter. I really wanted like a redheaded girl, and there were four boys oh. in our litter, but like two of them are like a reddish brown. So uh -huh. I was like, it's going to be one of those two, and we're second pick. So I have a feeling of which one we're going to end up getting based on who is liking what photo. Uh -huh. And like who the uh -huh. initials are of the people who were first picked. So I was like, uh, mm, we are not getting souffle, but or uh, aioli. <laughs> we are probably getting aioli. brulee, oh, which is well, fine. Brulee is, brulee is adorable. I don't know what we're and, actually and, yeah, going you don't to, have to name. Keep that, Jonathan but. has a list. This is really Jonathan's dog, which mm -hmm. he keeps being like, everybody needs to stop weighing in on the dog names. It's my dog, and we're like, mm, yeah, whatever. I don't like that name. Um, <laughs> I love my dog's name. Poor Jonathan. I think yeah. we got an awesome dog's name. You do have an awesome dog's an awesome yeah. dog's name. How did he wind Gatsby. up with that name? Gatsby. Well, I had a, I, and his name is actually um, Tucker Fitzgerald. Mm. Oh, is his name. Like breed show name or whatever? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, at the time, Lily was reading Tuck Everlasting. Uh -huh. uh, and Beth. My oldest is an avid reader, and so she wanted something that was like a little smarter and intelligent. And I was like, okay, this is a nod to her literature, but it's as a word, it's cute. Yeah. yeah. And so Catherine, it's fun to say. Catherine liked Gatsby as like a word mm -hmm. to yeah. say. Yeah. No, it's, it's like very, perfect. Very great. So everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have a couple of good options, but again, we we gotta wait to meet meet him. Yeah, to see definitely. Who, who he is. Yeah, and then so after we meet the dog and pick the dog, which is only like a 30-minute meeting, we are then headed to Hershey Park. Oh, so, fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be a good weekend. Yeah, that'll be great. Um, yeah, the boys are very excited for roller coasters, and I am not. Mm -hmm. Are you going to the... Um, We're doing Chocolate World on Monday. Chocolate World. Yeah, so yeah. when you go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, we also... I also... Have you done the historical tour, like the little no. tour where you I go around been. Hershey, Pennsylvania? So it starts outside of, so you go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, which is near Lancaster-ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they have a tour of Hershey, Pennsylvania, which was founded, or the town, a lot of it was for Hershey Chocolate Factory. But mm -hmm. yeah. just the... Hershey. Yeah. He had start I mean just like the history of that company it makes me feel so good yeah. about myself as like an entrepreneur a lot of times and a business owner like he had started multiple companies and failed in his 20s oh, and 30s and 40s he didn't start Hershey chocolate until he was in his 50s wow and then his generosity towards like his employees they, he built houses for his like CFO and CEO next door to each other. Can you imagine living next door <laughs> to all to, your coworkers? Yes, to your coworkers. Mm -hmm. And then That's funny. there's like he's been in the whole school. Too. Yes, a, which yeah. still exists. Still exists. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for um, for children, but they live in like home settings with you know adults that are in, in like small group home settings. Um, so yeah, it's like it's really an interest. And there's not traffic lights in Hershey. There are roundabouts because they're safer for pedestrians mm -hmm. and they want it to be a walking community. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Right? It's, it's like sweet. I know. Anyway. I'm looking forward. It, and I think it'll be fun. But it was, and Reese's is in the same town. And, and like I the, love Reese's. The whole history. Like, I highly recommend that little tour. Um, we might be doing that on Monday. I can't remember what Jonathan booked. Yeah. You do get to eat while you're on the tour. We're definitely so the kids doing the Make the Your Own Candy Bar tour. That uh, there was so much. The quantity of chocolate that sat around the house for months. I just have to say. By the way, <laughs> I'm, I'm. It'll be interesting because I, I don't really can. like chocolate, mm -hmm. but I do yeah. like peanut butter. So mm -hmm. I'm. I. I will yeah. be fine. I, I would know. definitely do the yeah. Reese's versus the chocolate myself. So I'll be bringing this and we'll see how far yeah, you're it gets. make a lot of Pretty progress. Good. I hope so. All right. Um. That's so, all I got today. Nice. Yeah. It's lots of fingerings. 
Do you want to talk about um, a whip, Amanda? And then I'll I, I can go last hop or, back, or sure. hop back. back to I'm whip. close to the end of this row, so and I'd, I'd rather be at the end of the in row. in progress. Sure. I am yes. feeling extreme. I'm going to move your. Oh, back thank over. you. I'm gonna, I'm feeling extremely accomplished this week. Good. Because let's see, we last time I think I showed you my partner sweater, mm -hmm. which I had finished the stitch pattern on. Mm -hmm. Um, I have. Bound off the bottom. What? Yay. Yeah. So now it is wearable. Mm -hmm. Yay. So I have a short little cap sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. We're not leaving it like this. But actually, it'd probably. Be I mean, more I was gonna say it's adorable on you. <laughs> it'd probably be more com more comfortable in ride bag. <laughs> like yeah, right. Depending he on might, what the weather might want being that. Like. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, oh, it's so anyway. Cute. Yeah, it's oversized yeah. on me because obviously I'm not a. I'm not Dude. size my partner. Yeah, but um, but not horribly oversized. I'll probably borrow something. Um, is this right? Yeah, that's right. So I have the tubular cast on, the Italian tubular cast on. Nice. And so matching bind off. I know this is love, guys. Like I did yeah. the. I that never do the bind off because if anybody is close enough to see what bind off I did. Yeah. This part they're of my body, close. they're way too close, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> nobody should notice this. But I was like, um, all right, for you, I'll make, I'll, I'll do a sewn bind off. I it looks bind beautiful. Like, so this is actually the great. tubular, where you've got the knits on one needle and the pearls on the other, and you kitchener them together. Yeah. So that's what I did during knit night, our virtual knit night last Wednesday, as I started at the beginning i had already set it up so i had the knits on one needle mm -hmm. and the, on the, uh, the whole way around and i just kitchenered for two hours yeah on wow. that night yeah and but i finished it like Yay, just at about the end of it. so now nice. it is ready to start some sleeves i love it yay so this is J gib 2 by andrea mallory and yeah this will this is definitely the sleeves are going to be much faster than the body I think. are you going to do the sleeves two at a time Absolutely not. No. No way. Because then you're done faster. Yeah. Maybe not. Sometimes it's, it it's, like, like, it's it. like with socks. Sometimes I feel like two at a time doesn't really feel faster. Right. I don't know. Right. You're managing two, think it feels faster. two balls of yarn and all of that. I don't know. Uh, I don't I definitely drink one at a time. Yeah. I would never, ever, ever. Okay, so this is give two. Man sweater number one. Haha, <laughs> guess what else I did this week? What? Man sweater number two. What? Passed off the body. <gasps> All right. Oh my goodness, nice. you're like, boom, boom, boom. Nice. Yeah, so I was, I've been. That one is much longer. Yes, mm -hmm. so this is the front, but it was also on a nine, and this was on a mm -hmm. true. Uh, six or something like that. Me yeah, um, too. But Sorry. anyway, that's yeah. what we get for taping in the none. afternoon. <laughs> and after this lunch, is, oh my goodness! <laughs> your we gotta get them coffee. Um, so <laughs> this is uh, Franca by uh, Wise Julie and Weisenberger. Yeah, Julie Weisenberger. Um, I'm knitting this for my dance partner, also a dude. So this is big on me. Um, but let's see. Uh, I. Cast off the bottom of this one too. Yeah. So now I'm ready for sleeves, which are going to go much faster than the body did. I remember that from last time. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I've got to really think about decreases on the sleeves because I think I have to keep mm -hmm. them straight a little bit longer before I start decreasing. It's like probably yeah. guys have muscles. Have have more. Yeah. Bicep yeah. Substance. Ah. Uh, so mm -hmm. modifications that I did to this for to make it a guy's sweater. I did. There is waist shaping in the Franca pattern. Did not do the waist shaping because. Mm -hmm. Dudes don't have waist per se. Um, I did put the pockets in. I haven't seen them up yet, so la 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 la. Um, that's there. And the original pattern has a rolled hem, um, like a just like a use finish, and it rolls. Mm. Um, but I thought that like having a garter border would be a little bit more masculine. I like the garter border. Yeah. Yeah. So and I like eased this. Um, I cord edging into the border, nice. so yeah. I think it turned out quite nice. Though. I like it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah. So this will be this will be done as well. I don't actually have a timeline for this, but it's. I went like I said. I went to New York yesterday. I watched Diddy Nanny's whole podcast from this week. I watched. Um. What's her name? Uh. The lady from Minnesota. 
um, Rocks Rock, Roxanne oh, Richardson. Oh, Roxanne Richardson. Yeah, I watched her whole podcast. And, yeah, finished like three inches of garter on that sweater. That's amazing. Back and forth to Manhattan. So, cool. oh yeah, I didn't bring up Gib 2. So yeah, you should see what that on that it looks, looks great. like. It's looking really nice too. So that's my man sweater. Number one. Oh, I do love the way this looks. Those raglans with the cables look Very so nice. Handsome. Yeah. It is. It's it's really it's and one of those beautiful tubular heirloom pieces. Yeah. Love it. Well and then I can steal it too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Exactly. It has double benefit. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any other ones? I do. I actually I've got to wind my whips. I've got to wind more yarn because mm -hmm. I'm like out of yarn on both of these sweaters. Um, but let's say I do. Do you have more, Kathleen? Um, I just have the one sweaters? I'm working on. Yeah. 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 yeah let's, we can wrap up with sweaters if you're reserved yeah. on sweaters. Mine's not sweaters. Cool. Um, so I have, um, I've really been on a summer sweater kick, I would yeah. say. Um, I had wanted to make four summer sweaters this year before the summer started. I have finished two. I finished my Tulsa tank and I finished, uh, the pyramid that I wore last time. Yes. And I'm doing Jen's Waithia class. So that's, that's well on great. its way. And I was going to do another one by the designer of the pyramid, um, which is mini me knit design is, is her design name. I forget what her actual name is. Um, but I keep putting things in front of it in the queue. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to do this next. next but wait. This. So I think it was when we found out that, um, LRA denim decay had been discontinued. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have always wanted to do a sweater in the marigold. Um, and I thought it would look great with the cream, which mm -hmm. I had used in another, um, uh, rocket tea that I made mm -hmm. and so I was like all right that's it while this yarn is here I am gonna make it um we've talked about doing some kits maybe we'll do an Instagram post with some some color combos and things like that yeah and if people want to order it they can but um, Get it while we still have it yeah yeah, yeah. and I and I think it is gone from KFI I think it's like yeah, not only is gone, it gone. yeah um so I decided to stripe this one differently oh, from the it. usual um, and actually I even changed it like this afternoon before we came here, I had been planning on doing, uh, eight rows of the marigold and then two of the cream and then eight more of the marigold. I felt like it was actually looking too close. So I changed it to 10. Okay. So like, like, it's, like so it's, it starts with eight, which is fine. Like the, the neck will, yeah, this is the, this is the back. This is like the back neck. Um, because this, you begin, you start working flat. You do all your raglan increases yeah. uh, and then you join it. It's a V neck. You join it in the front. Um, but I think that's going to look really cute. I, I think it's going to look really cute. Do you want to bring it up? Sure. And, I, and actually I, I have to check my gauge again. I did, um, this is on fives mm -hmm. and, um, thanks. Uh -oh. oh, that's right here. Give me a leash. <laughs> You're attached. Yeah. Um, yeah. My swatch came out really nice and neat oh, and everything, nice. but like now that I'm really working, I, yeah, I definitely have gotten looser. So I may yeah, have to go down. I may have to go down a size. I like that. Which is fine. That's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be so fine. you haven't done so much that you can't do that. Yeah, no, I, I definitely can adjust because there, yeah. I mean, it's just the back neck is going to be a little bit wider. And honestly, that part maybe isn't even like it's, I don't know. No, that hurts for me. It, you, yeah, somehow, I don't know. I definitely knit the swatch tighter than this is. I'm glad I looked at it, though, because you really can see it. And the other thing I did with the swatch was I played around with the stripe patterns. Yeah. Like, did I want a skinny one? Test. Did I want a fatter one? It's it's definitely a good place to do I it. I like where you ended up with the 10 rows and the skinny stripe. Mm -hmm. Me too. I think I think it'll be cute. I think yeah. that's good. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, no yeah so that is cranking along. And, um, you know, I'm definitely not going to have the Waithia done by next time because 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 it is the class and I'm yeah. I'm knitting along with the class. But maybe if I work really hard, I can have this one done. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah. There so so it's uh, it's it's really fun. It's it's very nice to work with. It just um and from having a sweater that has this as one of the component yarns, I know how comfy it is to wear too. Mm -hmm. So, but also we did find. Remember, we ordered some sample yarn. We hopefully we found something else that we can get in for next summer yes. to replace this. Because, yeah, like we were talking about earlier, it's so annoying when they discontinue things that we really like, no, whether it's a color or an entire yarn. No. But well, it does force you to try new things. It does. does. So and it expand, does, your, good. expand your horizons. And in my case, to actually make something I've been thinking about for several years. Yeah. Yes. So there. Exactly. <laughs> like, it kickstarted it. Yep. Yep. So we should have a deadline. Amanda, so. what's your whip? My whip uh, is, I have been, well, 
haven't made that much as much progress as I well. maybe whatever anyway I'll talk about it I'm making Ooh. Arden for oh that's right Catherine. yes um baby to be so this is a pattern by hooked on sunshine I'll bring it up because I'm making it this is a pattern is written for like a million bajillion colors mm -hmm. um but I'm making it all in a solid color so it's just like a textural blanket yay which also means I have fewer ends to weave in because I'm not changing does. every row um I do change um like every four rows or so um, mm -hmm. Just to like rotate, like where Change I'm starting the row. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And also, every once in a while, like the next row doesn't start right after. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have to working. like hop over. Yeah. And so that's just like, oh, I guess I'm gonna cut my yarn now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I was looking at this because I've been a little bit intimidated by it because I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't want to like be late. Um, but. I was thinking about it on, I had it here on Sunday, um, and was thinking about it, and if I do around a day, mm -hmm. it'll be done at the beginning of October, like perfect. the first week of October, mm -hmm. which is perfect. So that is now my goal, and that seems incredibly achievable. Even yeah. if I miss a day, then I just do two rounds. Then you do two, exactly. Yeah, to have Especially to double up for a single round is not yeah. so bad. Smaller, you can really be like, all right, mm -hmm. I'm going to do three rounds today, or one well, round today. Well, right. I'm, one round a day that's it so and actually in the center this is where a lot of the more fiddly rounds are once uh -huh. you get to the outside it's just it's like a little bit less so it balances out a little bit more yeah nice. so anyway yeah i'm making progress cool. so i did my round already today yeah. so this check check is done um for the day um but yeah so that's my other one but <laughs> my my, my the only other thing I have to share is something that I am not starting. Okay. Um, because my, as y'all can tell, my queue is full. I have three sweaters to do. At least two are on sleeves. Mm -hmm. But then I have my own fingering weight sweater. Yeah, I just was work. thinking about yes. that. I haven't had the brain space to start the call work yet. I mean, that's fair. I mm -hmm. need to, I need to do that. Yeah. So these two guys are going to go on, at least one of them is going to, at least one of these guys is going to get sleeves. I think this one first because that one's the one I have a deadline mm -hmm. for. Has to be ready for Rhinebeck. This one is lucky when it gets it. <laughs> He'll get it when it happens. That's right. Yes. Um, but uh, but this once it gets started, it is like plain stockinette, which is super easy to do on conference calls, and that's yeah. honestly why I've been making so much progress on it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I've been, <laughs> I've just been noodling on but absolutely not starting the not pixelated tessellated oh, vest. Oh the vest. Yeah. The Andrew Mowry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we were um I guess that came out what a week and a half ago? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we had a few customers in here. I don't know if you've been helping folks like pick mm -hmm. colorways for that. I mean the kits are all gone. <laughs> Of course, mm -hmm. I was watching because Nitty Natty got a kit, yeah. but she's like, they're all gone now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, but anyway, I mean, obviously what I do is think like, I saw that pattern and immediately was like, ooh, we have so many good options in the store, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So the Tessel, I'll put a picture in here, the tessellated, I would do the, if I did one, I would do the best. The best. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think but, the best uh, is where it's very wearable. Oh, and achievable for Rhinebeck, right? Mm -hmm. like, like no sleeves. Like, you know, no, sleeves. sleeves. no sleeves. Um, and you can crop it, too. Yo, and that would be so best cute. You can just wear it over a longer shirt, no problem. Yeah. Cute. Um, so I immediately thought of um, using the Rowan felted tweed color. Yes. yes. Which it's perfect. super hard to tell in this ball, but it actually changes from like over there uh, <laughs> it actually changes from like this turquoise to like a deep to like a green and a deeper blue so like it fades sort of like the spin cycle yeah you get the long color changes oh, mm -hmm. yeah and then you pair it with a dark and a light the dark is generally used for the cuffs and neckline mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then it's a six row repeat right like 
of these three colors nice. um, and a really cool pattern um, or you know of your three colors a dark a light and a like color changey mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and yeah. in the um, in the kits the light color is fuzzy yes Ooh. so if I was doing it I would do all felted tweed because I love felted tweed Mm -hmm. Last time I did a run back sweater, I did it in felted tweed. Yep, I love felted tweed. Um, but I was thinking you could toss in a cash suck light. Oh, yeah. that would be and do lovely. that as mm -hmm. your light color, right? And yeah. cash suck light is fuzzy, and you'd get that uh, texture plus the color change and the dark, which is. And I just think this tweedy is very cool anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's love good. That. Um, yeah. Then we had a customer. And weekend before, I think Saturday before last, who wanted to make this, but um, I'd say uh, belted tweed is toothy, right? Like mm -hmm. it definitely yeah. has texture to it. If you don't mm -hmm. like a texture jar, you want something super smooth. She ended up with <laughs> cash merino ah, sport. There you go. Right? Because yeah. the oh, that's perfect. Yeah, the cash merino sport speckle mm -hmm. is actually a slow. But color changing, like fady yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll get actually. I'll pull that blanket there and show you how these like color change slowly. Again, you can't tell on the outside of the ball. Yeah. Um, but the colors shift. Not only is it speckly, but the colors shift slowly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, with a dark and a light. Yeah. And that's what our customer nice. put together. And you um, could you could sub in the the cash look light for that as well. You could sub yeah. in oh. the cash look light for that as well. I think, I think that would be super wearable right. too, or especially this if you cash light. Heat. Oh yeah! Oh, I like that. I like that. Right? Very pretty. Love that. That Very color. Pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Like cash, this um, cash merino sport is going to be lighter yeah. than like a um, non super wash or a non super wash. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. It'll be it'll be super nice. But then but then oh wait, there's more. Amanda started <laughs> Oh wait, there's a uh, <laughs> Then I was like, what else <laughs> fuzziness do we have? We do also have the tug tug. Right? Yeah. Oh yes. Which is a little this actually looks extremely similar to yes. the um to is the it fua fua, I think, right? Yeah, or or it's like a alpaca e yarn that is the fluffiness so mm -hmm. this one actually looks mm -hmm. super similar it's heavier than the cast look light mm -hmm. um but it gives you that like definitely the, the same vibe factor. more fluff than the cast look light Gosh, this feels so good i want something out of this um oh my goodness but <laughs> what else could you do that's fluffy oh what about some fluffy on a oh yes the, the boucle the yeah look at that that would be Sport with sport. Look at that. I love it. <gasps> I, I feel like very fun. Close. Look at that. So that let lets that La Bienname, the boucle, like really shine. And you're pairing it with a yarn for a sweater, right? Like that's a little bit more economical. Yes. So you get so to you can enjoy. splurge mm -hmm. on the LBA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Uh, I so that. that one. Nice. And also super see. <laughs> there is more. There is more. Mm -hmm. Um what about the slovin? Right. Yes. Right. Which like yeah. would be super fun. And this is the same, you know, works the same way. You can put it with a mm -hmm. put that with Outlander and the wool yeah. cycle sport. I like that with the yeah. to get to Outlander. The blue. And both of these have the black in them. So mm -hmm. I thought that would be really nice with the black. Cool. Can also do that one with the navy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the navy like the black. Yeah, no, the navy doesn't contrast enough. I like the black. Yeah, You're right. The black is and the, the speckles. So many fun options. I know. So cool. like, I just went nuts thinking about. I had I had like fantasy nets. Of, yeah. Always, always. Yeah. Of the tesselated. Yeah. I love it. Uh, vest, which I think would be it would be super fun. I absolutely don't have time to do it. I do have another vest I have planned for Rhinebeck, which will be on the needles for next time. Ooh. I will show you, but I, I already have yarn in my stash. I already have a plan and I'm not going to abandon my plan to do this, which I really love. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that problem. combo. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. 
You were just debating that one. Oh, oh yeah, I and I was, I, I was. I mean, in that colorway too. It would look really pretty. It would it look, look so really nice. Really pretty. Although the one thing is, is that pink might be too close to that. No, it's not that. I, I Sorry. that's yeah, what I'm I was going to say. I'm like trying to like dig out something that would, would make it really not. Good. I, work, I, but I think in that pattern it would be fantastic. I think I would swap. I would change the pink a tiny bit. I would make it. It's very close to the other. I think there'd be too much overlap. I think it might no, pool a bit. Maybe that lavender. Mm. Ooh. I like pink. I know you. Like you, pink. you could do the darker pink. Yeah, it's a little too bright. Yeah. 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 Too bubblegumming. I don't know. That's really well, pretty. Maybe, maybe it's a reason not to do it then. <laughs> You're like, no. It's you know, it would be, be really pretty. The light green. There's not as much green Ooh. in there. That would be really pretty. Yeah. But Amanda like likes green. pink. Yeah. Amanda likes pink. So. Yeah, we're close. Oh, yeah, we didn't put up our sign today. Uh, oh, there. Okay. All right. Oh, they're looking for Waldo. Yeah. They can look tomorrow. They'll look tomorrow. Charlie and Teddy are going to be looking for Waldo tomorrow. Um, we'll so see. We should talk about what was our question last time and who won it. Yes. So, our question remember. last time was... <laughs> Um, well, what we were giving away, because it relates to the question, was a ball of the Gigifra Fior de Seta, which is a silk, recycled silk. So pretty. Colore, or color. And, um, uh, Fior de Seta. Fior de Seta. Plain. So, yeah. single color. Natural. So, um, and we do have the solid color in the, in natural and a very pale pink. Yeah. So the question was, what would you make with, if you were to win this, what would you make with it? Yes. Um, and our winner was... Jacqueline Hood, 5417. Yes, and, and almost, it's funny because not every single one, but just about every name on YouTube now has four numbers at the end of it. I can oh. tell you why. Why? Tell us. Because uh, a year or two ago, they made you basically um, standardize your username. So, like, your username ported over and it was associated with your account. So, that's why my username was originally JBanel and now it is JBanel blah, blah, blah what four mm -hmm. numbers um because uh things were already taken mm -hmm. and they even if you delete your account you can't do the username oh, yes. again um and youtube and it that's a hold over from a not good yeah, design from a, from a previous <laughs> situation um mm -hmm. and so when they did that that's why people ended up with numbers mm -hmm. but i've only seen them like in the last month like it's you know yeah, you had an opportunity to change your username. I mm -hmm. didn't bother. Mm -hmm. I did not bother. Now I wonder what my username is. You can look and see. I, I saw mine on my TV um, oh, yeah. the oh, other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I have four numbers at the end of mine. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Because they had to change everybody's. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So I could have picked my four numbers. Is that what you mean? or You could have changed your username. Uh-huh. I, I didn't see any notification about it, but. Oh, no. I'm this sure. was like a year ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. There was definitely, there were definitely notifications, but I mean, I also knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, so what Inside did scoop. Jacqueline say? So Jacqueline said the June top light would be great in any of those shoots. And she enjoys it for this. Thank you for watching, Jacqueline. Glad you enjoy it. And that does sound like a nice suggestion. That's the petite knit one, right? I believe so. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Someone, uh, who did I see wearing that recently? Oh, I don't remember. Um, yeah, that's a pretty design. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be beautiful in this. Yeah. I love it. So, so Jacqueline, go ahead and email us at helloeshopbjornia.com. Let us know what color you would like. Let us know if there's anything else. So take a look at our website. You can find it there. Um, Jadifra is the brand. G-E-D-I-F-R-A. Fior de Seta. Yeah. And, um, and if you do want enough to make a whole project, the shipping's on us. So just place your order. Okay. Whatever. Here, any questions, let me know. Um, don't place your order and pay for shipping because the shipping's on us. Yeah, we've had the, we've had a couple of times lately. Oh, we've no. had to refund people's, and I, I'm happy to refund it's it, but prices. we'd just rather not you. You don't have to do it to begin with. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So anyway, awesome. so yes, congratulations, so, Jacqueline. And don't forget to comment for this week's, which is yes. So so I I like? do like I do like the what we said in the beginning. Like, like what's do, your do you have a summer uniform? Do you have yeah. a summer uniform? Do you have a winter uniform? uniform? Yeah. What is it? Do you change seasonally? Yeah. I mean, if you live in this part of the country, I feel like you have to change seasonally. I can't imagine. I can't and imagine wearing the, the same thing all the time now. But, I mean, the, but you know, in certain climates, changes, that would be fine. But um, you're close. You wear a linen dress or a linen dress with a sweater. It's true. <laughs> but like today, she's got jeans on. Today, I I know, jeans. which is impressive. And I've got linen pants. I know. Because yeah, even my light jeans were my too. Dresses were in the wash. Were the too. Uh, I changed drastically. In the summer, I wear sundresses every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the winter, 
aforementioned Lululemon leggings plus a sweater. Plus a sweater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a good one, and you have a lot of yeah. sweaters. Um, and so the prize is going to be the, pr a the prize is going to be your choice of any of our LRA denim DK oh, wallet is still nice. available. Um, so that if you want to make a rocket tee or anything else with this lovely yarn that you yeah. can get started, or it would actually make a really cute, um, Sophie scarf or something like yeah, that too. Yeah, it would make a really cute Sophie scarf. So we have this it is... probably still in a dozen colors. It is a hundred percent, um, mercerized cotton. Egyptian it feels cotton. so nice. Um, yeah. And originally, all the colors were kind of denim -y, hence the name Denim DK. Um, but yep, they, they did expand into other, like, really pretty shades. At first, it was all stone wash and acid wash. Yep. And yeah, bleach. this is still the original. But yeah. Yeah, I think it would be so fun. I mean, if I, really pretty. if I didn't have my palette that I have, I would probably have done these two colors with the blue, because mm, I think that would look great. Um, and I think it'd be so fun to play with this pattern to do different size stripes and things. Agreed. Or different, you know, like three different color stripes would be so fun. It's just, it's not me, yeah. but it definitely would work for some people. Well, I was going to say, it's also a good way if you have limited quantities. Of exactly. So you like can kind of mix and match. Little. Exactly. I love it. Cool. So, yeah. LRA Denim DK. Get it while you can. Get it while you can. And let us know about your uniform and maybe yes. we'll win a ball. All right. Awesome. Maybe you'll influence our uniforms. Maybe we'll show up at the I know, next podcast and, like, and all be different. We could always change our uniforms. That would be fun. Um, Except think, if we'd have to buy a whole new wardrobe, that would be awesome. <laughs> I, I like shopping. <laughs> I actually don't like shopping. I think I that's shopping. one reason that... Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm really loving having many more summer sweaters to choose from. That's yeah. making me very happy this well, year. It's like... It's kind of like shopping. Shopping it is, stuff it is. that you've made. It's sh yeah. shopping and then making. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I just really like my wardrobe, which I've accumulated over a long time. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. I have a very, Fair enough. Very nice wardrobe, but yeah. No, you don't need to scrap it. You can just phase Add it. Add to it. I just Add to it. Please. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to follow us online. We're Shop Yarnia at uh, YouTube and Instagram. Oh, Chronicles of Yarnia. Chronicles of Yarnia at YouTube. Um, but Shop Yarnia on Instagram, Facebook, and shopyarnia.com on the our web, website. where you can also sign up for our newsletter if you scroll down to the bottom of any page. Yeah. So That's right. Check out our class. Well, yeah. we don't have any... Um, we don't we don't have any like fall classes that are remote up yet, but no, but, but those we will. will be coming. Yeah, and also if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll hear about those. You'll hear about always this. have private lessons, either in person or virtual learning. That's sure, right. Which we is do that fantastic. too. It's a great way to yeah fill that in. Get get what you need. Yes, yeah, and you've done a couple exactly. recently with yeah. different folks who it's heard about fun. it from the podcast. So it's so entertaining. It's good. It's yeah. good. All awesome. right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a great two weeks. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye.